Hi, I'm Jim Lewis, co-owner of Painting with Fire Studio with my wife Barbara Lewis, author of the Amazon Best Craft Book on Torch Fire and Immersion Enamel. Today we're here with our son David, who is a certified Painting with Fire teacher, an expert videographer, and we're going to show some basic instructions on how to take apart the Torch Fire and Enamel Kit and assemble it so you're all ready to fire. So, one of the first pieces in the kit you'll see is the map gas hardware. Um, I will disassemble this. You just take the box apart. And what's inside of this box is an O-ring to wrap around the map gas. And um, the an L-bracket and a C-clamp. Now the most important thing is with your hothead torch, either when you start the kit or when you ever, whenever you change the uh, map gas, you always want to put the, the um, torch on first. So I'm going to turn the torch until it stops moving. You just want it hand tight. You don't want to tighten this with a wrench. So once it's hand tight and you make sure it's off, if this is on when you start it, you'll hear the gas gushing out. So once that's tight, then your second step is to have a screwdriver the O-ring and the L-bracket. Now something that's kind of interesting, if I were to put the L-bracket on the way it comes out of the kit, it's going to have an angle that's going to be very difficult to torch with. So you want to torch fire where it's pointed this way. We're going to show you two ways that we put a 30 degree angle in the L-bracket. I'm going to do it by hand on our workbench here and then we're going to take a break and we're going to go put it in a vise. So for those of you who don't have a vise, you simply put your hand down where just before the second hole and you push your hand tightly and just bend it slightly till you get about a 30 degree angle. So just about like that. All right. And in a second we'll go in there and we'll put it in, in the um, vise. So here's the angle bracket and this is for those of you who have access to a vise. You saw me a minute ago, I bent it with my hands on the workstation. So if you have a vise, you put it about halfway in, up between the first and second hole, and then you just gently bend it so you're gonna get the same, about 30 degree upward angle on it. And that's about it. And then you're ready to hook it up to the map gas just like we did when we bent it by hand. So now that you've got this, you want to line this up where the angle bracket is directly in front of the torch. So that's why you have to put the torch on first, because you don't know where the torch is exactly going to stop on the threads. Then you put the O-ring on. I do the O-ring so that the screw hole is facing me. Something I've learned the hard way, when you're putting the uh, screwdriver in here, I don't want to have my hand right behind it in case I slip and stab my finger, which could easily happen especially when we're doing a class of 20 and I'm going too fast. So now all you want to do is tighten this up. You saw my screwdriver slip. If my fingers were back there, we would have a red workplace right now. And as you tighten it, you want to make sure that it's exactly lined up where you can see Dave doing that. And here's the angle that you're seeing. You see that's all nice and lined up. Tighten it up, one more turn. Okay, now we're ready to clamp it down to the workspace. So you undo your C-clamp. So if you're right-handed, you wanna mount this torch slightly to the left of your workstation. And I'll show you why in just a second. So we're going to put this down going to put the L bracket, the C clamp on the L bracket. As you know, notice here, I am using this metal work surface. The metal work surface uh, is non-flammable. You could, you don't have to use this. This is the one we use in the studio. But you could use a, uh, any kind of tile, or we have also used, um, hardy backer board which is like a cement board and anything that's non-flammable. So you just tighten this up nicely. Okay now we're nice and tight. Okay the next thing you do 
if you look at our patented bead pulling station, it has a lip in it. So whether you're using a hardy, hardy backer board cement board or a tile, this will slip in the back of the tile this way because you're going to be pulling on the uh, mandrel as you adjust the bead. Also in your work kit, your torch fire kit, you'll see that we have a bread pan. You just take the bread pan and you empty the oil dry. This stuff looks like cat litter. Dump it in. Now what you also find in your kit, and you just kind of flatten this out. One thing that I've noticed that helps, this has an edge on it, so if you flatten it out, it'll pull directly up against the bead pulling station. So now you're ready to fire. Okay, so also in your kit, you'll see these thin mandrels. These are 0 0.45, so it's 45 thousandths of an inch. These are special stainless steel mandrels, and you'll see that this skinny mandrel fits almost all of the um, iron filigree beads that we sell at our website. There's other sizes of mandrels that fit the copper, but this mandrel that's included in your kit will fit all the beads in your kit. So you, you load that on there, so it's about a quarter of an inch to the end, and then you're ready to fire. I'm just going to light the torch once to show you how to do that. Um, the key thing with the torch is you don't want to put the match right in front of it because you'll blow it out. So you turn the torch on, raise the match up, and you're ready to go. So there's that. Um, you will also have in your kit um, several different enamels. We like to use these particular tins. They're not part of the kit, but we do sell these. When we started out early on, we were using empty you know, cat food tins, things like that. But something that's metal that will hold the enamel in. And so you're all ready to fire. Thanks a lot, everyone. Hi, I'm Jim Lewis, co-owner of Painting with Fire Studio with Barbara Lewis. Behind the camera is David Lewis, our expert videographer and certified Painting with Fire teacher. What we are doing today <laughs> is showing the... Hi, I'm Jim Lewis, co-owner of Painting with Fire Studio with my wife Barbara Lewis. Behind the camera is David Lewis, certified painting with fire teacher and expert videographer. Hi, I'm Jim Lewis, co-owner. <laughs>